This is the story of when I almost gave up and dropped out of coding boot camp. So if we back up to before the time where I even went to coding boot camp, I was living on my friend's couch from college in Las Vegas. To be honest, I probably wouldn't be here today if he wasn't generous enough to let me stay on his couch for a few months and really get my stuff together. So in the application process of going to the coding boot camp, you had to take an assessment, which would then get you on to the next step of taking a final assessment. Once you got through that, you were then in. So what they do is on that initial assessment, you can take it up to three times and they give you a coding problem and they assess you on multiple different things, whether it's your technical skills, soft skills, and they'll rate you on a different scale of like one to five. So I took my first assessment and I failed. And what they said is I couldn't take it again for another three days. And me being impatient and really determined, I signed up with a second email and took the assessment again. Well, I had put in my same name and what they did is they matched the names and I had failed the second assessment. So this means there were two strikes against my account and I only had three times to take it. Once you fail a third time, they don't let you ever apply again and they blacklist you. This really had me on my toes and I was super, super nervous. I was trying to target the mid-October start date and I took the third assessment. Thankfully, I passed, I was so happy. But what they said is since it took me three times, they couldn't guarantee that mid-October start date and I would have to wait until November. Now at that time they said I was on probation and that was a huge bummer. I didn't know how much more I could, you know, do this nomadic living. I was living on my friend's couch and I was all the way across the country. My family's from the East Coast. I was on the West Coast. I really didn't want to go back East. I feel like that would be failure. And I almost did go back. I'm so thankful I did. So I booked my apartment in San Francisco and I booked it for three months because who knows what was going to happen after the coding boot camp. I get an email a week later and what they told me is that I was going to be on probation when I got to the coding boot camp as well, which basically means they're going to give you tests for the first two weeks and if you fail, you'll be kicked out. And I was, I don't know, really, really nervous and frustrated and kind of disheartened by the whole experience. But with that, in mid-November, I ended up moving to San Francisco and going to the coding boot camp anyway. There was really no option to fail at this point, so I was just going to go in and give it my all. So going to the boot camp in the first two weeks, it was really stressful. I only met a handful of other people on this probation period, and that kind of scared me because I could be kicked out at any time. Luckily, in the first two weeks, they would give you your full money back, but I had already paid a deposit and pretty much booked an apartment for three months in one of the most expensive cities in the United States, and I also didn't have a job. Well, the two weeks came to an end, and I passed. Thankfully, I was, was so happy that I passed. So those first few weeks, they said that you could technically still get kicked out, but there was a different kind of pressure in that once you got to the midterm, that is probably the time that most people who would get kicked out, get kicked out. So then six weeks later, the midterm rolls around. And this is one of the most stressful periods of the coding bootcamp. You've spent the first six weeks learning as much as possible. And then there comes the midterm where you have to put all of it into practice and you're not able to use many resources. So the midterm was built up of 10 different sections and basically they were chunked down into individual pieces that would build upon each other. So what you had to do is get through as many as possible and at the end they would decide what threshold you would need to pass or fail. So it was a complete unknown. Now at this point, if you didn't pass, you were kicked out and you weren't returned any money. This was the most stressful because that's a lot of money to only go through half the boot camp and then not get returned to you. So I sat down for the midterm and I ended up getting tripped up on the second section. And unfortunately, the third, fourth, fifth, and so on sections, they built off of that second section. So that basically meant that my code was an absolute disaster. It was a waterfall effect. At that point, they had brought donuts in in the morning for this midterm, and I think I ended up stress eating like eight of them. <laughs> I really was a complete wreck that day. Now, after the midterm ended, we ended up talking with some other people in our cohort, and people finished at varying levels. Some people got through six of the ten, other people got through one of the ten. So me getting through four of the ten, I was at least in some piece that I might be able to pass this, but I was still really stressed and nervous what happens if I wouldn't actually pass. 
Well, thankfully we got the results back and there was a cutoff and it was lower than what I had done. So I ended up passing. And this was the final time where I was like, whoa, I'm actually past the point where I don't think I can get kicked out any longer. Well, after this part, we then had these extra projects that we were doing in the two weeks after the midterm. Now, one project was to basically rebuild Facebook with the group of three other people. So we had to build a full stack app that modeled after Facebook and using all the technologies we had learned in the previous six weeks. Plus, we had to learn new ones to implement in this project as well. There was a lot of pressure because there was a presentation date and we had to present on this date, which pretty much meant we had to have a finished project. We were only given about half a week to build this whole thing and nobody really knew what we were doing. We had to have it built and deployed on the web. All I remember is that there was this one night that I was really struggling. I was building these front end components that just weren't working. There were bugs. I could not figure out why there were bugs. I got home around 8 p.m. and I was grinding until about 2 a.m. trying to finish this. I eventually got to the point where my exhaustion caught up to me and I pretty much gave up. That was the night I had a mental breakdown on the couch in the living room of the apartment that I was sharing with other people. I just felt totally defeated. I ended up calling my mom. It was 5 a.m. Eastern time for her. <laughs> and I told her I want to give up and move back home. It was at that point where she said, you can't give up, there's no option. You just have to keep going and you'll get through this. I really didn't believe in myself at that time still, and it was a total bummer. But even at that point when it seemed like there was a lot of pressure, we had to present the next day, it actually wasn't too bad. I went in early in the morning after giving up on some sleep and asked for help, because what else do you do in a time where you're pretty much lost? Thankfully, they were able to help and I was able to hack something together to at least show for the presentation. Now, the big takeaway from this experience is that giving up is binary. You either give up and never succeed or continue and eventually succeed. And that was the biggest takeaway. If I had given up at that moment, I literally would not be here today. And that is so scary to think back that that one night could completely change my future. It really felt like at this point, I was putting everything on the line to try to make this career change. Grit and perseverance are the two qualities that will get you through something extremely challenging like this. Those are also things that aren't really taught in school, which I think they really, really should be because those determine if you're successful in life or not. If you're in a hard situation and ever want to give up, don't. It's not worth it. Success literally might be right around the corner, even if it doesn't seem like it at that moment. And if you're thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, have the expectation that you're going to want to give up multiple times throughout it. Think back in your head and tell yourself that you can't give up. There is basically no option to give up. You have to keep going no matter what. Looking back, this journey was completely worth it and it did change my life for the better. I'm so happy that everything ended up working out and all that stress and all that worry about things not working out, it was kind of wasted time because things ended up working out in the end. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up, and I have a bunch of other coding bootcamp videos. My goal is to really make people aware that there are other options than just going to college to get into the tech industry. And also, if you're after college and really didn't like what you studied, there are alternatives to correct your path. Check out my coding bootcamp playlist, as well as my last video, Things I Wish I Knew Before I Went to Coding Bootcamp.